Bernard Mott and Noreen, and indeed thanks to all the members of the museum board for their help and support over the past five years. And as Noreen says, look forward to a new museum board being convened by Carver County Council. Since 2002, Carlton Council operates the museum. This, as you will know, uh, will be the last week for Carlton Council to exist. So, would you please welcome to address you the Cochrane of Carlton Council, Councillor Eileen Ruffy. I hear that the board of the museum, board members, museum friends. It's my great honour to be here tonight to address you and be part of this celebration. The Carlow Historical and Archaeological Society deserves our congratulations on founding and opening Carlow County Museum. The Society has over many years dedicate, and its dedicated members through Colovia, the annual lectures, tours, it has provided an important legacy to our town and to our county. In December 1973, on this street, a group of the Society's members opened Carlow County Museum. And tonight it is very appropriate that they are recognised for their efforts 40 years later. Since that opening, the museum has continued to develop and is the fine institution we stand in tonight. I am very delighted to say that Carlow Town Council, the involvement of it goes back to 1979, when it was agreed to lease the theatre room of the old town hall to the Carlow Historical and Archaeological Society as the new home for the museum at that time. That premises gave the museum a long-term home, and during that time, it had the ability to expand and develop its collections. After a period of negotiations with the Society during the 1990s and the early years of Carlow Town Council, it was agreed to take over the operations in the museum in January 2002. The Council published Carlow 800, a civic vision for the 21st century, and it identified a number of specific quarters in the town including a cultural quarter. It was decided that the museum required a larger and dedicated premises. This beautiful building here in the future cultural quarter was identified. Until 1989, the building was home to the Presentation Sisters, who from 1811 educated generations of young Carlo ladies. The building now accommodates the Carlo Central Library, Carlo County Museum, and the Tourist Office. Through these facilities, the legacy of the presentation nuns of educa education continues now. The cultural quarter runs from Tuller Street along College Street to the old Dublin Road. It encompasses the County Library, the Tourist Office and the new Carlow County Museum, the Cathedral of the Assumption, Carlow College, the Delaney Archive, our Cathedral Parish Centre and the Visual Centre for Contemporary Art and the George Bernard Shaw Theatre and then it ends up with our magnificent 19th century Carlo Cortes. Like the museum, many of these sites are free to visit and together they provide a very important cluster of visitor attractions in our town. The mu museum is one of 12 county city museums in Ireland and as already mentioned by Noreen, the museum has a very close working relationship with the National Museum of Ireland. Over the next few years, the museum will progress through the Heritage Council's Standards Programme of Ireland. I'm delighted to say that since the opening of the museum, it is welcoming over 16,000 visitors per annum, and no doubt this will continue to grow. The museum has two temporary exhibition galleries which allow for special displays on specific topics and to accommodate travelling exhibitions. The museum has been involved in many projects over the years and for the last nine years has coordinated uh, the county publicity for our Heritage Week, which takes place in August. As you are aware, at the end of this month, a few days' time, Carlow Town Council will be abolished after 115 years. As a result, Carlow County Museum will assume the responsibility for the operations of the museum, and they will establish a new board in the coming weeks. The museum collection is growing all the time, and it was agreed at our last monthly meeting of the Town Council that the Coherlix chain, which I proudly wear tonight, along with the Cara Town Council seal and gavel, will be presented to the museum for safekeeping for the future. I feel very honoured to be the second woman to have worn the chain in the life of Cara Town Council. I hope going forward, when people are elected people, that women will be more to the fore. I think they've played a very important part of the culture and development of our town. And it would be my wish on retiring as Coherlix 
that in the next generation we will see more women sharing and planning for Carlo. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of Carlo Town Council, I congratulate the Society and especially the founding members of the museum for their vision and dedication in establishing the museum and their commitment in operating it. And I know a large number of people are volunteers every day here in this museum and it is a tribute to Carlovians everywhere that 16,000 people are coming through and growing. I look forward to seeing the continuing development of the museum in the years and decades to come. Thank you.